Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're working on elapsed time problems, which is all about the difference in time. Generally, we're talking about years. So take a look at my first example. Nicole was born, that would be me, in 1970. Yep. I know some people say, don't tell your age. Hey, I earned these years, so I don't mind saying my age. It is now the year 200, 2016, so I am now 46 years old. Let's see how that works out. We're going to figure out what kind of pattern this is. So we start with, I was born in a certain year, then it also something ended in another year, meaning we're saying the ending year is 2016, where we are now, and that tells me I'm 46 years old. How did I get there? We take the later year, we subtract the earlier year. There we go. Oh, I don't need the year. Ding, ding. There we go. Later minus earlier equals the difference in time. And that would tell you how old I was. Now, you probably noticed there is a subtraction sign in this. So what kind of pattern is it? A subtraction pattern. Nice. I put that like this. Subtraction pattern. Now, why is this important? Because I'm about to give you a bunch of other word problems that are elapsed times problems. And the first thing you're going to have to identify is what kind of pattern is this? And elapsed time, you know, is a subtraction pattern. Let's take a look at a couple of word problems and see if you can select out the subtraction pattern and solve the word problem. As you might know, I have a Nicoleism that I use for attacking word problems. It's called, please eat sugar cookies right, Larry meaning Larry is not eating the sugar cookies right. I mean, come on, look at him. So we're going to use this with our first word problem. Take a look. Usain Bolt was born in 1986. He won his first Olympic medal in 2008. How old was he? Well, we can easily tell that that is a problem about time. And how do we know that it's about elapsed time? Well, they're talking about he was born at a certain time, then some time passed, and then he won the Olympic medal. That is elapsed time. If we look at our device here, it says, please figure out the pattern. That tells us that this problem is a subtraction pattern. Nice. And if we look at the E, oh, I wrote E. It should say equation. Let's change that. <laughs> equation. All right. So let's figure out the equation. Well, he won the Olympic medals in what year? That was 2008. So we put that first. We put the later year first. And he was born in what year? 1986. And we're looking for the difference. And we don't know what that is. So we'll say D for difference. That'll tell us how old he is, how many years he's lived. Okay. Now let's do sugar cookies. Solve and check. Okay. This is straight multiplication. Mo listen to me. Subtraction. My tongue is all tied today. Just funny. 2008 minus 1986. Well, it starts out okay, but I got to do a bunch of subtraction here, a bunch of borrowing. So let's do it. Boom. <coughs> okay. That means 22 is our answer. And we're going to check this by adding 1986 and 22 years. And that would give us 2008. So we're looking good. And now let's do right, Larry. That's my favorite part of it, by the way. Right, Larry. Let's review and label. So does it make sense that he was around 22 years old when he won his first Olympic medal? Yeah, that makes sense. Like 22 years old sounds like it's a reasonable time to win the Olympic medal. And we add our label. He was 22 years old. So there we go. All right. Not too bad, right? Good job. Here's your next problem. Apollo 11 landed on the moon in 1969. The American and Russian crews started living in the space station in 2000. How many years were there between these two events? Sounds like an elapsed time problem to me, but let's go through our checklist here to make sure we've got it. The please in the please eat sugar cookies, right, Larry? The P is for pattern. So what this pattern is telling us is that in one year, 
there was a landing on the moon. And in another year, a later year, there was a landing at the space station with two crews. Does it sound like there might be a time difference there? It does. And an elapsed time problem is what kind of pattern? A subtraction pattern. Great job. Let's go to E, E, which is equation. What's our equation going to be? We always start with the earlier year. And that year was 2000. And we subtract it from, excuse me, the later year. I did it right, but I said it wrong. We start with the later year, which was 2000. We subtract that from the earlier year, which was 1969. And we look for the difference between the two. That's a simple subtraction problem. Okay. A whole lot of borrowing. Here we go. One, three, and that's it. 31 years was the difference. And we check it by adding 31 to 1969. I'm going to do it right here. Zero, 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 two. So that checks out. Now let's review and label. Does it sound about right that there are 31 years in between those dates? For me, it does. Um, yeah, 2000, 1969. Yeah, it's about 30 years, 31 years. And what's the label? I just said it. 31 years. That simple. We use our device here. Please eat sugar cookies right, Larry, to help us attack the word problem. And once we know it's a subtraction pattern from an elapsed time problem, it's a breeze from there on out. Okay, that's it for today. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.